The ocean has many different ecosystems all over the world, providing habitats for thousands of the species. Some of the flashier ecosystems, such as Florida Keys and the Bahamas, have caught the attention of scuba divers, conservationists, and lawmakers. However, important and impressive habitats are right off Florida's coast as well, including mangrove forests and seagrass beds. There are also small reefs right offshore, such as Point of Rocks. There is also a lesser known reef that is home to hundreds of animals right off Lido Key, Sarasota. The jetty is home to many animals, including spotted sea trout, common snook, black drum, sheepshead, pinfish, chubs, belted sandfish, butterfly rays, gray snapper, stone crabs, Florida swimming crabs, brass, damselfish, flounder, spot-tailed pinfish, spadefish, sardines, mojaras, mollusks, tunicates, urchins, and many others. There is a problem, however. The jetty is threatened by human actions, including fishing, debris, and dredging. Fishermen often attempt to catch the larger fish around the jetty, even when the targeted fish is out of season and illegal to catch. They rarely ever catch any fish, except for bait fish. They do catch the rocks, though, and instead of untangling their line, they will often just cut it, leaving it out in the environment. This is very bad for the birds, turtles, dolphins, fish, and other animals that live off Florida's west coast. A recent event that wrecked havoc around Lido Key was the dredging project earlier this year for beach renourishment. While city council members claimed that it was helping the wildlife by providing the turtles with more nesting area, which was not the reason they did the dredging and it ended up harming the turtles by washing away their nests, it was detrimental to the jetty and surrounding habitats. The dredger was killing sand dollars as well as all of the animals that got buried with sand. A day or two after they dredged the seafloor and piled it along shore, a storm washed the most of it away. While the jetty did recover, I have not seen any belted sandfish there since. Some solutions to these problems include banning fishing off Lido Public Swimming Beach, which includes the jetty, and stopping the dredging and beach renourishment. I am currently working on a petition that will ban fishing off Lido Public Swimming Beach. Environmental activists have been trying to stop the dredging, but with little success so far. We need people like you to help stop the problem.